Hello everybody, Andrew Majewski here with Dental L. So let's go behind the scenes of this um, whitening toothpaste. So you have probably seen this over uh, social media by now. If you haven't seen it yet, um, you probably will soon. So it's this, you know, whitening toothpaste that has pretty much gone all over social media, I would say within the past six or seven months or so. And I am going to be talking about what this is, what happens behind the scenes, why is everybody selling it, is it a pyramid scheme, you know, all of that. So I'm not here to sell you anything, I'm not here to toot your horn, however you want to say it, but I'm just here to tell you exactly what it's like um, and pretty much everything. Now, I do sell for this company, okay, but again, I'm not here to sell you anything. I'm going to talk to you guys about the good, the bad, why I'm selling it, why at first I was a little bit hesitant to even look into it, and why the company, well, I shouldn't say the company, but people who sell for the company, why some of them are giving the company a bad name, and that's why I had my doubts um, at first. So let me just kind of start from the beginning here. So I had my doubts at first because I was seeing this all over social media, and it's your typical um, direct sales company. So people make a commission from what they sell. So this toothpaste, as an example, whoever sells it makes about $10 commission per tube. If they have people on their team, so if they're training people, they get a commission from everything that their team sells too. But to, to really talk about that, think of any dental sales rep company. It works the same way, you guys. So it's just unfortunately these direct sales companies get a bad name because we all know at this point, and if you and if you didn't know, I'm about to tell you. But the more you sell, the more you make. There are always challenges at the beginning of the month to you know sell, sell, sell more. If you sell a certain amount, you get some free stuff, you know. So it's a, so it's in everybody's best interest to push themselves and to sell, sell, sell. But that's where things can get a bad name quickly because you'll have people selling for the company. You'll have good people and you'll have bad people. I mean, not bad people, but you know what I mean. Their intentions aren't pure. You know, you'll have somebody selling for the company who's who's like literally posting every single day, twice a day. Here's this new amazing toothpaste. You just have to have it. But then, if you have questions, well, they might not have time to answer your questions. They might just simply say to you, "Well, here, just purchase the toothpaste. If you don't like it, too bad." You know. So we all have we all have those different salespeople. Um, people we've we've all seen them. Where there's good ones, there's bad ones. There's annoying ones. So it's all kind of the same thing here. Okay. And that's where initially I got a bad, I guess, inkling about this whole company was because I was seeing it all over. Um, social media, even anytime somebody, even in a, in a, a dental hygiene page on, um, on Facebook, on a dental assisting page, you know, somebody would just ask, oh, hey, what whitening system do you guys use in the office? And like 10 people would comment this copy and pasted message of, hey, you have got to try this amazing um, whitening toothpaste. It will take you eight shades lighter in three days. But everybody had that same copy and pasted message. You know how annoying that is? It's very annoying. So it gives the company a bad name. And in the group, we didn't ask about a toothpaste, okay? This toothpaste does not whiten the teeth like a hydrogen peroxide uh, solution does, but it does make the teeth lighter by taking away the surface stains, right? But more about that later. But it gives the company a bad name, right? When you're just asking about something totally different and then five, 10 people copy and paste the same message, you're kind of like, okay, leave us alone. We're not going to buy it. We don't, we don't take you seriously because you're all copying and pasting the same message that the company probably told you to, right? So it gives the company a bad name. But a friend of mine was actually selling it. And before I kind of knew about the whole, you know, team thing um, and the copy and pasting messages that now I'm seeing all, all over Facebook, which I think is so annoying still, even though I do sell for the company, um, I, you know, just the way she had posted, I was like, oh, well, so she uses this toothpaste? Okay, now I have to try it, right? So that's how it happened. Um, but then um, somebody sent me a free tube. 
um, to talk about it on YouTube. And I had initially said, well, I don't, if I don't like it, I'm going to tell people, you know, so just so you know, if I like it, I will tell people. But if I don't like it, I'm not going to tell anybody that I like it because, you know, you all watch me and I'm assuming you want my honest opinion. And the person who, who gave it to me said, hey, that's okay. I was like, oh, okay, perfect. And I tried it and I truly did love it. I'm that person where I drink coffee and tea. My teeth stain very, very quickly, okay? It is pretty sad. Like my lower anteriors, my lower teeth um, stain quickly. And I have used Crest strips in the past, but my teeth were way too sensitive. This toothpaste did get rid of those stains to the point where I would be cleaning my own teeth at home um, every two weeks or so. Like that's how much I would get stain on the inside and the outside of my lower anteriors. Um, but after using this toothpaste, and that was kind of the true test for me to just see how it would handle that stain. And with this toothpaste, I didn't have to clean my own teeth after two weeks. I did not have stain there literally. So I was very impressed. I thought, okay, wow. I did take before pictures and I did take after pictures after three days, a week, and two weeks. After three days, no, I didn't notice a difference with my teeth being whiter, but I did notice that I didn't get as much stain as usual. After two weeks, I did notice a big, big difference, but it was because my stain that I would normally have wasn't there anymore. So am I claim? Am I claiming that it's like a hydrogen peroxide on the teeth? No, because it's not. But it does do what a whitening toothpaste, in my opinion, should do. And that's taking away stain and then allowing for no new stain to come back. There's no other toothpaste out there that actually does that without being coarse. This toothpaste is not coarse. This is less, less abrasive than the Crest 3D White than Sensodyne, okay? This is actually a less um, abrasive type of toothpaste. So then a lot of people say to me, well, how does it work then? So pretty much behind the scenes here. And I do have a full um, ingredient list if you want to see it. I did my own research. So anytime I review a product, I try it first, and then I do my own research. It took a couple weeks. Um, so I do have, have everything there if you would like to see it. But how it works is there's patented um, molecules. So I'm not very scientific, right? So, so, so I'll just say that it does have those patented um, molecules that get deep into the cracks of your teeth to take out all of that stain. And then it, it does apply a thin surfactant coating over the teeth to make the teeth feel as smooth as as possible but more importantly to not allow new stain to come through and that's why they say to use this this toothpaste twice a day obviously so that that way you are keeping that thin coating over the teeth to pre, um, pretty much to protect the teeth too right and to not allow new stain to come back so that's how this works without the hydrogen um, peroxide and I would much rather prefer that on my teeth than the coarse um, toothpaste out there. Because um, if it's coarse, if it claims to whiten, typically there's baking soda in there, but there's usually too much and it makes the teeth um, too coarse. It could make the teeth sensitive and it just takes away a little bit of the enamel too. But this toothpaste does not do that. But if you're curious on behind the scenes more, keep on listening. So this is what, when you sell for the company, you're pretty much told to do, okay? So as I said, I do sell for this company, but I don't kind of follow the sales tactics that they suggest or train us on, okay? So basically, we have a list of posts um, per month that we are told, or we are, I mean, we don't have to, um, we don't have to, obviously, but we're told to copy and paste these posts per month. So depending on the day, you might have a post talking about this amazing toothpaste on Monday. On Tuesday, you'll have a post about, hey, I'm placing my order about this toothpaste. Um, who wants in? The third day, you might have a post, just any post talking about why white teeth are uh, uh, the best thing ever, you know, and then the next day you'll have a post about, Hey, who wants to make some money selling this um, toothpaste? So you get the idea. We're pretty much told what to post per day. 
you don't have to. But it just kind of helps us for those people who do want to make some money but don't really know what to post. And that is so, so helpful. But I don't follow that because I don't agree with selling every day. You know, I find, you know, you're all not stupid. You can tell <laughs> when we're trying to sell you something, right? Now, in my opinion, though, yes, I do love this um, toothpaste. So I want you to know why I like it. And yes, I do sell it. So if you want to try it, let me know. But I don't believe in pushing sales tactics, um, sales tactics down anybody's throat. So me posting every day, I feel that you will get annoyed being like, okay, we totally understand you sell the toothpaste, you know, move on. I tend to post twice a month, maybe even sometimes once a week, depending. Um, if I'm getting a lot of questions about it, then I might say, okay, people are still asking me questions. So I'm going to post again because clearly they want those questions answered, right? But so we do, we are told sort of what to sell or um, what to post. We also have training also um, online. So you can be a part of groups on uh, Facebook that do help train you on like how you make money, um, how not to sell, how to sell. Um, it trains you on if you have people on your team, how much money you, you make from those toothpaste. Um, it teaches you how to, how to do taxes based on, because if you're making a commission, right, you do have to claim that income. But what they don't tell you is you don't have to claim it unless you make a good chunk of change. So if you're making three, th um, $3,000 in income, then okay, you might have to start claiming it, right? But is it the end of the world if you don't claim it? No, and I'm being honest. I claim it because I do own my own tutoring um, business. Um, I do own my own dental hygiene business also. Um, so I make enough income with my own um, businesses that I do have to claim this because if I don't, because this is still considered self employment income for me, right? Because I, I do have my own businesses. So I do have to claim it. I did not make that much in commission last year, but I still claimed it because I have to put everything together. But I can help you with the taxes, okay? Here in Canada anyway, I can't really help you in the, in the States, but they do have um, training on that. So you will be totally fine, trust me. Um, and the training kind of teaches you guys how how to, um, how to be organized, so how to keep track of your income um, and help to keep track of your orders. You do not have to have stock. No, I have stock because that's just easier for me to sell because I see patients often. And truthfully, if somebody's asking me for a toothpaste that will not hurt their teeth and that will whiten at the same time, then I will say, well, actually, I do have something for you here, you know, but I don't just push it and sell it. You know, if they ask me, then I am more than happy to help. Um, I have stock because that's just easier for me, but you do not have to. Um, you can always tell your customers to go to your site. They order from you and then it gets shipped. Um, to their house easily. For one tube of um, toothpaste, depending on where you live, it's $25 plus tax um, and $5 shipping. For two tubes, you get free shipping and it's um, only $50 for the two. So that's it. Um, but again, it depends on where you live. I'm talking in Canada here. So it might be a little bit less as an example if you live in the States. But we kind of teach you guys all of that. Plus, I have my own training as well. Um, on my page because I train differently. Like I, 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 tr I train based on your questions. I'm not here to tell you to sell, 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 sell. But honestly, you guys, I wish I had this opportunity when I was in college, um, if you're a student, because it would have been so easy to just post um, and people would know that I'm in college to be a dental, hyg um, a dental hygienist. So they would probably ask me about a toothpaste that I'm selling um, because they might go, oh, well, you would clearly know because that's your profession. So I kind of want to try this. You know, it's such, I don't mean to say it, but it's true. It's such easy money. Honestly, if you sell a tube, you make $10. It adds up, you guys. It adds up. Sell five tubes and that's a good chunk of, of uh, change, right? <clears throat> and if the customer doesn't like it, they can take it back. 
which is the nice thing. They can take it back. They just have to pay shipping, I believe. Um, truthfully, I haven't had a customer return one yet. Um, I don't think, no, I don't think so. Um, so I believe they probably just have to pay shipping, but that's it. But they get all of their money back, no questions asked. But this is an amazing toothpaste, honestly. It's not expensive, it can't hurt, so why not try it? But that's just behind the scenes. So that's how things work. Um, I should mention too, like I, and you do not have to pay anything to sign up. So let's say you do sign up to be a seller. You sell to your sister, you know, aunt, brother, mother, father, and you sell maybe 10 tubes and then you don't sell anything else. That's okay, you are not out anything. You've just made some extra money. That's it. If you decide to, to um, take it further and sell, you can make some good money. Like I typically make, um, and I do sell this on the side. So I typically make about $300 a week. Yes, that's not a full-time income, but that's pretty good. That's over $1,000 a month, you guys. If I, you know, add that all in, then hello, that's pretty good. But I've only been selling since... October of last year. So I'm excited to see where this is going to go because it's toothpaste. People need more toothpaste, right? So I will probably sell to the same customers every six months. So you're like constantly making that money and your customers love it. They, they, they start telling other people how much they love it and then they might start to sell it too or they they take people or they bring people to you. So then you sell more, you make more money. So you get the idea idea so yeah so I feel yeah so I kind of talked about you know the good the bad you do not have to sell 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 as some people are you can probably see it it gets very annoying and it gives the company a bad name in my opinion but honestly this is amazing toothpaste if you guys have questions though just feel free to comment ask me anytime and I will tell you how it is I do have a page on um, on Facebook if you might be interested in uh, selling I'll leave the link for you guys on the bottom to have a look no pressure um because i do all of my sales on online so i'm not going to tell you to go door to door or something to sell the toothpaste right but you can make some money i have people on my team from uh from the us i have people on my team from europe from um, England, like I have people everywhere. So you do not have to be from Canada to be on, on my team because I sell everywhere. Even uh, the Philippines, I have two people on my team. So it doesn't matter where you guys live. I'm happy to help. Okay. I am happy to help you make some money. Why not? As you guys have heard, I have two businesses. Plus I work at a dental office still and I'm doing this. So do I need the money? Not necessarily. But hey, it's kind of nice to make an extra, let's just say $1,000 a month. That's a big chunk of change that can go towards eating out, a new couch, a new stove, I don't know, whatever. So let me know if you guys have questions. I am very, very happy to help. And have a good weekend. I will talk to you guys very, very soon.